Morris, just uh, what's it mean to come back and, and to Clemson and, and to help Wayne, Wayne with this uh, event he's doing? Well, I mean, it's an honor, to be honest. It's such an honor. Okay. You know, I've known uh, Wayne, what we call him Buck, uh, for quite a few years. And once you have that, that camaraderie, that unity, I mean, from like over 98% of the players who play here, football and basketball, when someone asks you to help them out with something, and if you're available, you come back and, 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 and take care of it. Is that what's kind of like today, you know, they all got their own facilities and all this, and you guys, you all kind of shared everything, from the dining hall to everything almost. Is that, is, does it... Does it kind of suck for them that they don't get the kind of same relationships with the other sports that you guys got? Well, I mean, in the sense of uh, the guys having everything they could ever want in terms of football and, and, and basketball, but, you know, they deserve it. But guys like us, like, you know, Jerry Pride, Grayson Marshall, Melvin Campbell, Dale Davis, Wayne Buckham, we paved the way. And uh, when it comes to football, you know, Michael Dean Perry, you know, Omar Jordan, and you can go on and on, pave the way for those guys. Right. Um, but it was nothing like that camaraderie, kind of sharing the same food, uh, the same drinks, uh, sometimes the same books. So, but it, it was still that camaraderie. For you, you had a. Uh, your brother was here with you at one point. Your nephew played here. What's Clemson always meant to you? Clemson have always meant to me family. Uh, a great community. Uh, great passion about their sports. And just overall great people. Alright, so uh, what are you doing now? What's next for you? Tell me everything that's going on. Well, I don't like to use the word retired because when you have kids, you never retire. <laughs> uh, but I, I work for the Chicago Bulls. Um, I used to work for them full time, but now I work for them part time. I'm a goodwill ambassador for the NBA, and I work for a friend of mine, a nonprofit foundation in California called Rise and Achieve. It helps get rich kids off the off the street to give them opportunity to not, you know. Do something crazy and, and go to jail. That's cool. And one last question: You and Levon, he does that also. I know a lot of you guys kind of do that to kind of give back and help young people get where they need to be. Why is that so important to, to you guys? Well, the, you know the old cliche is, you know, the youth are our future, but they are. I mean, you don't want to see anyone to get incarcerated, and so much is given to us. Why not give something back?